So I mean, fear, fear. I mean, I'm not saying freaking all females are crazy, but I mean, I, I'm just going off the fact that I knew a lot of strange people when I was young. A lot of strange people. It seemed like that, <laughs> and uh, you know. I'm not the only one out there that came across strange people, and that's how you know most of them. So, you know, such crazy acts like that are, they're no Jeffrey Donner, but they're, they get really close to being classified as that. Like, one has to question what, like, what kind of family they have, you know? That would let ignorance be so, so high, you know? So prevalent? Exactly, yeah. I don't know, I even need to use that word correctly, but uh <laughs> I don't I don't think it's a family so much as I think it's them as an individual. I think it's just a lot of variables. Uh not exactly. You see like um people can be taught, you know, about what Slenderman actually is and isn't to an extent. So the if they were taught better they would know better morals. And they'd know that sacrificing to some in-game thing would be stupid. And bad. Yeah, but not everyone knows to break that line. And not everyone... Sometimes depends, depends, depends. Because depends. people don't get explained that line. <laughs> like, like some children need to be explained why they wear a seatbelt. <laughs> Sometimes. So many people just like, they have children, but they don't really think at all about that. They're just like, okay, I have one now. <laughs> yeah. Kind of thing, you know, it's like, you're supposed to do stuff as well, like, teach them not to be an idiot. You have to actually and be not to fear certain things, and to think. Be of reason? Yes. Or at least not, not put, not drag down mankind like you just did <laughs> with that exactly. act of attempting to murder your friend. Like I said, it, it's a very, you know, as I said, that I, know, I knew I knew some crazy people growing up, so but I wouldn't doubt that we all do. But I, I think these people are the people that are possibly rotten inside a mental hospital right now. And I know one of them is definitely in prison for what they did. And I'm not going to go over such things because of, uh, because it's legal things, but it's like person's gonna come to me and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm a killer. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, I don't think you know the meaning of the definition, but we need lots of book cases. Uh, yeah, you know, I think there's just a lot of variables that develop, that are there to develop such Crazy, the frick is this? That's you. <laughs> what? That develops such a, an odd behavior. If that makes sense. Yeah, sometimes. Or a dangerous behavior. Because I mean, yeah, there's just a lot of variables. Because I mean, it's very easy for uh mentally handicapped individual to become such but they they don't why well i think sometimes that the mentally handicapped actually get more care to prevent such things to an extent they get more they're less neglected Attention. than some can be yeah like they they go to a school or whatnot they're special taught you know there's one on one there's less machine to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Less factory design. And more attention to them. Because, you know, sometimes they do it out of not having enough attention. Sometimes it's because... Um, sometimes it's because they've made bad choices, but sometimes those bad choices could have been prevented by being taught correctly. Like... How many how many of these people that do these bad things or that are idiots have dropped out of school? You know? Mm. Have dropped out of a school that like structure and actually teaches them right from wrong and their ABCs and math and stuff that they actually do need to know. 
to be a functional person of society. Are we going off the... Oh. Are we going off of just the fact that... What, what do you mean? Like, what... What, oh, yeah, just what do you mean by these people? What? What do you mean, what do I mean? Because I'm talking about just... They would go... They disregard. I'm referring to individuals who disregard, you know, human... Human, but there's human reasons or... behind why they disregard them. People aren't just straight up broken. I mean, some, some could could be because there are extreme mental disorders, but not every one of them. So many of those murderers weren't people who were straight crazy. They were literally trying to like take from people rather than just kill them. You know, how many of those have been done by envy or greed? Well, that's a reason. I'm referring to those individuals who lack reason. I don't think there are many individuals that lack reason. It's just For... which, which one of them are, is guided in the right reason. What does the hell does that mean? I don't know. Uh, door. Because... Um, for example, like the <laughs> Illinois clown killer. That was a that was a freak there, man. He was just he, was, he would kill, he'd do other things, specifically boys, and it was just one of those things. At first, you like it happened, but you know you don't really think about it on uh, why he did the things he did. And they were pretty much of no record, or or, or cannibals. It's like, what the hell did they do? The there ones. There are reasons to those. The 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 the, the not the not the third. What the hell is a creeper doing down here? I don't know. Did you leave that area that you're working on unlit? I don't think I did. I'm inside the basement. I don't know. Check over there is for lighting and whatnot. I somewhat worry that it might be coming from, like. That area where we have uh, the fake wall. I wonder if like, they can spawn in there. That'd be kind of weird. Well, that's where he was at. I don't know. Uh, I need more doors. More door. I don't know. I think overall. I think overall, there's just a, a shit ton of variables that must be evaluated into such things. Sort of like why an individual, for example, an individual who only eats nothing but uh, pizza, like that guy. He he can only eat pizza. He needs to eat pizza. You know, if he doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't like pizza with toppings on it. And you have to you have to analyze it and really evaluate why is that. You know, why is that action? Now that one's probably a mental disorder at that level. Yeah, but it would all. But you have to also consider you consider the whole psychological uh, pyramid. It it's installed on the base of the pyramid. You're not going to have an easy time pulling that out. What? Because it's a it's a biological need in his psycho in his in his psyche. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's no way. Of well, for one, it's not a negative habit, but we all do know the effects of pizza. It's not exactly the healthiest food out there, but you know, he's not hes not doing ridiculous acts to get to it. He's like, oh, I gotta get the pizza. I have to have it. No, it's just if he's gonna eat, he's gonna eat a pizza. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's really instilled into his very base psychological I, you know, biological need. This is how the body develops this is what the body needs. You could break that habit of him, but you're not going to break that habit out of his body. That he might actually break out of hives if he's not going to eat it. And not be able to eat it. Sort of, sort of like how if we don't drink water regularly, you of course are going to have symptoms of it.
Yeah, house improvement. I've done it. I've done it! Now they all live in fancier boxes. Let's see, a knife game. A new song accompanied to the old game that gives it new life online. <laughs> the knife game song. Written by the Rusty Cage. Went viral in 2011. The game has re has the game was resurrected in 2013 with new lyrics from Norwegian YouTuber Hannah. I'm not going to say the last name. <laughs> so this is a song for the knife game, Chris. What is this knife game? The knife game. You know where you put your hand down on the table and you uh, take a very sharp item and okay, yes, a knife. I know. And then you uh, chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop. Hope you don't get a finger. Chop, 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 chop. You know, go go between your fingers. Yeah. Like uh, like uh, like those crazy Russians. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh. What do you think about? What do you think about the salt and ice challenge? The what? Salt oh, where they burn ice. themselves with salt and ice? Yes. Does it burn you? It does. To an extent. Uh, Holy shit, boy suffers from second degree burns from salt and ice. Holy shit. Yeah, it's not a very good thing to be doing. I would, I would assume it's more or less like a frostbite kind of thing rather than actually burning. Um, because I wouldn't think it would burn, burn, you know, because it's mm -hmm. not fire. But oh. the the same kind of idea. The challenge is painful because the chemical process is involved. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but adding salt causes the freezing point to drop down to zero degrees. When applying ice, heat is pulled from the skin as competitor, uh, compet competitors. Trying to outlast each other, they run the risk of blistering burns and frostbite. Yeah. So it is pretty much a burn. Or, or like a frostbite that just, <laughs> just zaps the heat out of you. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to the villagers. There's only like one guy. Darn villagers. I wonder if they're getting attacked by zombies. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to actually just get out of this mode. Alright. Um. Alright. Go away, sheep. These villages are all useless. Alright, well, at least they live here now. Now, hopefully, they're safe from zombies, and there's more doors, so they might try to build more people. I need emeralds. I need emeralds for everything. Everything I do. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that? No, I don't need emeralds for the grinder, so let's go ahead and build that grinder. Ah, it's gonna be expensive. <laughs> I plan to make four of them at some point, but I don't know if I can make that many right now. Uh, Alright, on to the next ridiculous challenge the cinnamon challenge. What do you think of that spicy challenge? Eh. Spice. The spice up your life. Don't really care much for it. Well, apparently, it can permanently damage your lungs. Yes. Looks like it. It's similar to, like, <laughs> I don't know if it would, like, go and, like, cut up your lungs necessarily. Um, but probably the next best thing. Because I don't think it's that sharp. Because, you know, like, if you're on the moon and you're breathing, the dust, it'll actually completely, it'll start cutting through your lungs. Yeah. 
because it's so flat and sharp that it's pretty bad to actually breathe that in. Oh, God. It is just, uh, yeah, as you said, it just pretty much just fills the air. <laughs> Being drowned, and drowning in <laughs> drowning in sand. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, God, I don't have more patterns. Uh, much, much more. Okay. Uh, okay. Number six is uh, gallon gallon smashing. What do you think of you know? Those gallons of milk smashed on the ground in supermarket, all the while by he or she being filmed. What do they just sit in this? What do they just go in, grab the carton, and then just throw it on the ground? Well, not carton, gallon. Gallon, same thing. Really? No, 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 no. no it's a gallon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all they do is hit the floor and cause milk to be on the floor. <laughs> That's yeah, basically but... it. I it's saw not someone. Like plastic causes it to blow up as soon as it hits the ground. I, I saw a man get wrecked by that, man. He, he, he thought he was being all smooth about it. I think it was, I think, I think it was on a fail comp, right? And then he just busted his shit. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what they do with it, though. What did they just... What? What do they do? Trying to hit it with their foot or something? No, they just smash it on the ground. So they just throw it to the ground? They throw it to the ground. How did that guy get hurt? Well, you see, he threw it in the ground. He threw it on the ground, right? Yeah. In front of him. <laughs> Thus, he slipped. <laughs> he wrecked the shit. Why did he slip, though? Did he, was it when he was trying to walk away from it? Oh, no. He was walking. He was doing, like, the skip type of motion. Oh, you know so I mean? he ran, jumped, and then threw it down. Yeah, and then it was just... Like an idiot. He threw it, and then he, like, he knocked his face on something. It was just like, ugh, your, your teeth are... No, you know his face is aching. Who's stupid enough to run in the direction <laughs> that they throw the liquid? Uh, yeah, I think it's I might be know. spawning. I don't really like freaking. I mean, I was a stalker, so I can only imagine the like dick move you could be doing just being. You know, I'm gonna smash the milk on the ground here. You gotta clean that up. Like you're not doing anyone a favor of doing that. Right, just being I think a, that you're just an asshole. <laughs> Yeah. It's not like they're achieving anything. Uh, yeah. I thought it might have been like... Like at first when we were talking about like the gallon of milk challenge or something, I thought it was like drinking the gallon of milk. <laughs> because <laughs> there are people that do that. Drinking a gallon of milk, yeah. People come up with so many stupid challenges to entertain them for some reason. Well, yeah, because... Like we got to disfigure ourselves or else it's not good. Not good enough. All right, don't talk about disfiguration, man. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that do that, I think. Yes, there are. And that's why <laughs> that's why there's, they're being stupid. I don't know if they... I don't know if I would call them disfiguration so far, so much. <laughs> I just call them stupid, just boiling enough to get themselves killed. Mm. Okay, um, the next ridiculous thing. The knockout game, a prank possible overhyped by the media. Yeah. That one's just stupid. I don't know what's wrong with people. You know, the title that really did make sense. Like, yeah, it was a game that was kind of over overhyped over the media. Yeah, I know exactly what it was about. Yeah, that but... Was not the way, it's not the way things should go. Yeah, but I feel like the media did really overhype it, huh? It was like, here's the damn thing, and then it's doing danger, danger, danger zone. Danger it is zone. Pretty danger. Someone was killed by doing that. Well, I'm not denying. Oh, yeah. Rest his soul. I but, it, uh, <laughs> hell, it might have been a coach or something. I don't remember what it was exactly. Like, I'm not saying it's bad, but. Oh, that might have been something else. But, but I mean, someone. Like, <laughs> just like a coach got punched. Because some kid was upset, I believe. I, it wasn't. It wasn't part of that game. I don't think actually. Okay. I think it was just a thing. But he killed him by accident by punching him. And it's like, if you can do that, you shouldn't go around playing this other type of game because you risk come, just as bad. Come on, come on. Houdini died from a punch to the gut. Oh, no, I that? Yeah, that's how he passed away. He passed away because he got a punch to the gut. I know he was capable of like taking twenty thousand like. 
freaking, he was capable of taking a ton to his gut, but he couldn't sustain a normal human punch. Magical guy just gone. I thought he like drowned it or something in one of his like escape acts. No, he he just died from a punch. Just a just a normal ordinary punch to the gut. Of course, he wasn't prepared for it because I think he was uh he was like sitting. I believe I believe someone like myth busted or something. I'm not sure where or how, but I don't recall. But you know he wasn't prepared for it and he just wrecked his, he wrecked himself. Just wrecked him. Because, you know, it's just, if I recall correctly, uh, don't quote me on this, don't don't learn, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but it went something like he was waiting inside his, like, his room to do his performance, and of course, you know, one of the, one of the backstage people were like, oh, Houdini's there, go, go punch him in the gut. <laughs> gut, and he killed the guy. He <laughs> killed Houdini. <laughs> like part of it was like Houdini had a secret trick he was gonna do that like had something in his stomach and then <laughs> just that's the reason why it worked. Uh, he ate bullets. And one of them just went off. Uh, just a chain, chain of weapons and stuff. He's just like, I'm gonna pull these out and they're gonna be amazed. <laughs> All right. It's have like, you ever have you ever seen Teen Wolf? What? Have you ever seen Teen Wolf? I don't think so. Um, you it, it's uh it's a movie from what nineteen eighties nineties? No, no, not the not the TV series. The the movie Teen Wolf, <laughs> not the not the TV series, the the movie. But yeah, and uh. In 1985, yeah. Uh, no, you know the know. you know that kid from Back to the Future. Lightly. Yeah. Well, and he 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 played in it. He was the protagonist character, and of course, he was a teenage wolf, and he was capable. Of be, you know, he was in high school. He was doing all these phenomenal things to get himself popular, even though at the end he didn't really need it. Yeah. Well, anyways. During it, during that movie, there was a very popular scene in which he rode the top of a car, which brings us to our next sub subject: car surfing. <laughs> no, nah, that, one, that one's slightly reasonable to an extent because of the fact that it's like, well, that seems probable to be fine. I mean, so long as you're not going at high speed, I I could imagine people getting hurt at 20 miles per hour, if not killed. Yeah, and it's just like, look, we didn't think that twenty <laughs> miles would be enough, <laughs> because that's that's a that's a completely fine, unexpected, you know, mistake. But you'll have people that are stupid enough to think, you know what? Let's go up to fifty or sixty and stuff. Yeah, doing what MythBusters did carefully. <laughs> well, like, like there were, I mean, it says right here there were fifty-one deaths and forty-one non-fatal in injuries. 51 deaths. You can't be saying that's something okay to do, <laughs> even at low speeds. Moving on to a vehicle. You would think it would be, though, because, like, that doesn't if you're running to... at, like, if that car was going at, like, 10, you can run at 10. So yeah. you'd think that you'd be safe. If I'm, if I'm running at fucking 10. I'm not running yeah. at 10. Another... It's just, like, I don't know if everything would be able to withstand that as much as they think it would. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. Hold on. It's, I I don't know. I don't I don't know about car surfing. Keep in mind, this isn't jumping on a car. This is on the car riding it, yeah. go riding it. I, I, okay. I don't know if that's still a wise idea. I mean, GTA. I mean, GTA was like mm, never said it was a wise idea. Saying it's a, at least a reasonable idea <laughs> compared to everything else you could do. I mean, I rather, I rather, I mean, I rather. you could ride a shopping cart off of a roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know who in their right minds thinks that one's gonna be okay. Because <laughs> at least in the car, it's like you're standing up and then you just fall over, maybe a tent. <laughs> so it's like, I run, yeah, but you're I wrecking slip, the shit still. Still be fine. I mean, you. I mean, of course, they can on. land on their head, and that's the more dangerous part of it. Exactly. 
could you land on but a you bone could, wrong. You could trip and land on your head, really. So, same yeah. kind of concept. Pool. Um, we got to keep pool rules here when you're riding cars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. All right, some circuits. I mean, I understand if it's no, I can't even understand. That. I mean, I I, ro I rode on the back of a bike, you know, using pegs, and that seemed really crazy. So, you know, I can only imagine the heckness, the the heckness of uh, of riding a vehicle like that. Not not the back of a vehicle, but on the top of it. Yeah. Like what the hell? You better be glued to that ceiling on that vehicle. Even then, it wouldn't necessarily be enough because, like, once you get to a certain speed, you got air resistance. That's gonna be your issue. No, well, don't worry. You'll just be flopping on the back of it, break your ankles. But that still should prove its point of being fatal. It's just non-lethal. Or am I even using that term correctly? Whatever. No, it not if you say <laughs> fatal. <laughs> Uh, Once it's fatal, they're dead. Okay, then we'll... <laughs> that's, that's all with that. <laughs> oh, what's the oh, latest one? Latest one. Swatting. Do you know what swatting is? Yes, it's very stupid. And I, I I know it affects uh quite a few different people who play Call of Duty because they're pathetic. Or <laughs> as I've seen, apparently uh. Some people that do live streams and stuff. Yeah, I mean, anyone's... A, like, anyone's affected to. by it, but... It's one of those things, it's like, live streams, I think, is is the easier to accomplish because there's so many more people kind of there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if it, if it was one guy on Call of Duty, it's just you made someone upset and then they try to find you kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But when you are when you live stream, there's a, there's a higher connection amount. And there's, like, more potential for these oh. issues. Uh, let me see here. Let's I don't see know. Here. I mean, <sighs> I don't. I don't take any threat lightly. So, people just doing that is just really just a middle finger. I mean, Grandma, you all said the end of the night. I'm up. I'm on my feet, ready to like kick back, karate kick a, a a wombat if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> But then I just find out she just need Pampers, and I'm like, what, okay. <laughs> she still don't want me to karate, karate kick Wombat, Grandma. Something, I've done something wrong. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. It's okay. So... Oh, okay. Two electrolyzers. Extractors, a bunch of taps. This is... Okay, we'll just, uh, yeah, um, are we able to, uh, you know what, first I need to look over this, <laughs> I can't be like, are we able to talk about not safe for work stuff? Uh, what do you mean? It depends on where, how far. It, um, just, um, just, 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 uh, blow up partner, if you know what I mean. No, nothing, not, not that extravagant, but just the concept of a blow up partner. Um. Uh... Suppose slightly, and if you very, very lightly graze it, because I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's one of those things that people don't, you know, kind of know to an extent. But there are there are branches you shouldn't go into. <laughs> okay, well, I believe this one. I believe this is they, they put a not safe for work label over it, but you know, I went over it and it's not really that bad. I can imagine the cookies that all developed from it, so I could imagine why it's not safe for work. <laughs> uh. 
But, alright, you know, using using an inflatable partner as an inflatable raft. <laughs> what, is this supposed to be a challenge? No, I was just curious, if, what, what do you think about that? I don't inflatable know why you do such a thing. I don't know why you'd have one of those on hand to use as such. I don't know, we were at the pool the other day, and you were like, we need we need something to float, to float on. <laughs> can float on that. I don't know. It can float on an inflatable part. Of course you can. It's filled <laughs> with air. Just like the real partner. Ah. Uh, Nothing but hot air. Nothing but hot air. <sighs> okay. Um. <laughs> People can be like, inflatable partner. That's my guy. He, he's over there. He's got his, he's got holstered guns and stuff. And he's out there. He's going to help me. Fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. You could use it also as a clothing material. There's a man that used an fl- inflatable partner and made a hoodie out of it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Just wait for that eye, babe. That's what you need. <laughs> I don't know what kind of advanced <laughs> advanced issues you'd run in with that one. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, for those circuits, the circuits never gonna be done. The circuits are uh, probably out of rubber. Yeah, of course. Not. Oh man. And glowstone. Oh come on. Well then, I guess we'll be going to the Nazar. Nazars. All right, rubber. I think that's for a creative to use it as a. I mean, other than. Why are the saplings getting here? I mean, other than the obvious, what the hell are you doing? But why are the saplings coming over? That isn't. Oh. What? Nothing. Unless they were sent back through time. <laughs> She's gonna get stuck in an infinite loop. I don't think that's what happened. I don't know. I'm gonna come back here when I care. So much dirt. Okay, uh, 